My name's Uncle Paul Calcott, I'm a community elder here, and I work for an organisation called First Peoples Disability Network of Australia, and we're the peak representative group for First Peoples Living with Disability. The part of my role is to facilitate the Noonaron Art Group, um, which is great, and my organisation is very supportive because I see the value of our mob with disabilities starting the new story about uh, disabilities and strength and culture through art and storytelling. About 10 years ago, um, when we first started the group, when I was working for a non-government organisation, and the group was basically then, at that time, like a respite type facility for people with disabilities to come together and address issues such as social isolation. So um, at that time, the council was doing their first wrap and the group was approached to do some artwork for the RAP and the council made a donation to the art group. But then they encouraged us to put an application in under the Regional Arts Development Fund and from that application we were successful in getting a small grant which helped us then build and get resources and really start to um, be able to invite more people into the group. But as the group grew, uh, the elders come together to form the group Noonaron. Traditionally our art told basically stories of um, ceremony, country or bush tucker. So the Noonaron Art Group has started a whole new genre of storytelling using traditional symbols that have been passed down for thousands and thousands of years to start telling stories about disability and strength and resilience and inclusion. This particular exhibition we were approached to do, um, we were asked if we wanted to exhibit at the United Nations in Geneva in 2019 as part of the Permanent Forum on the Rights of People with Disabilities. And the artworks are all around strength based. They're all about, it's called culture is inclusion, and it's talking about people with disabilities, how they're included in community via their culture and the barriers that they overcome and the strengths of that community. Disability or not, we don't judge people in Noonaron. Where we accept you for who you are, disability and all. You shouldn't let your disability rule you, you should rule it. The yarning is connecting and connecting to the people is what we want. We want not only our personal stories to get out, but we want the group story as well. Our way is to yarn, whether that be on the canvas or you know, just talking about it one-on-one -on -one to people um, or in a group setting. Brendan used a great analogy once, if you've got one stick it can be easily broken. If you get all those sticks together, it's really hard to break them. So we come together as a strong group to share stories, support other people coming in, and it's so important because it's actually helping other people in community to start to have a voice. And it's through art and storytelling, which is the best way for our mob to communicate and tell stories and just carry on the tradition that was handed down to us, you know, over 40, 50, 60,000 years.